Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny Godly of The Godly Glow. Today's video is gonna be really quick, right? I get questions all the time about what order makeup should go in, especially when it comes to color corrector, foundation, skin tone concealer, highlighting concealer, powder, bronzer, contour, highlighter, blush. Um, no, but seriously. Okay, so in this video, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I'm trying to detach myself from making you guys feel like I have all the answers and you can only do things how I do them. So with me personally, I go in with primer and then I go in with foundation. Right now I'm using a foundation cocktail that I'm really obsessed with. It's Anastasia Lancome, a little bit of makeup forever, and then sometimes even some Estee Lauder. I don't know why, but the mix is phenomenal. It does something that each of the foundations don't do by themselves. Even though I love each and every one of those foundations individually, there's something that they just do together. So after foundation, I like to do my color correction. Now this is my post foundation color correction technique. This is not going to be something that everybody's familiar with or comfortable with. All right. A lot of us are used to using our color correction. A lot of us are used to using our color correction first. But to be honest with you, I mean, you can see my face and you can see the results as I'm doing the makeup. I like to use color corrector after foundation because to me, you are color correcting the residual left over discoloration, right? I could go into this so deep. I do talk about it in my makeup class. I will have the link in the bottom bar below and I will be doing more videos addressing this because I definitely think it's the step, it's the key that's gonna help a lot of you guys. After color corrector, I like to do my skin tone concealer, my center color, right? And I feel like once you've color corrected your canvas, then you go in with the skin tone concealer to bring dimension and then I created a mid-tone highlighter. I took my highlight shade, which is a color from Milk, I believe Caramel, and then I took 500 from Lancome, I mixed them together and created a highlight tone. This face is my favorite face right now. The cocktail of foundation, the highlighter, that concealer from Milk, baby, I'm in love. Okay, and so after that, I went in and I soft set using my HD powder from thegodlyglow.com. And I love how it just wipes out the look of texture and pores. And it looks really, really pretty. And then from there, I went and I did bronzer. Now, the reason I did my bronzer contour right before my highlighter and blush is because bronzer and contour are supposed to look like bone structure. Bone structure is underneath your skin, underneath the makeup, right? I could have even done like a cream contour, but I just used the powder to kind of just demonstrate bronzer, blush, and then I did my highlighter. I feel like highlight is the final step um, highlight is also something that I like to look very natural and like it's coming from within. So on occasions, I will do my highlight underneath my blush. And then I take a wet brush and I stipple over it and you get that bossing out of your skin natural glow. It's not sitting on your face. You can't see the texture. You can't see the powder. You can't see where it starts and begins. You can't see any edges. It's, I'm very particular about how I apply my highlighter for the very reason is because I have texture in here. I have a lot of texture in here. So I have to be very careful with how I apply it, how I blend it, and in what order I use that, okay? And um, from there, I did use blush and you'll see um, how easily everything kind of blends together and it looks really, really fluid. I also did my nose contour right around the time that I did um, my cheek contour, right? And I'm using a new palette from thegodlyglow.com. It's not available quite yet, but it will be very soon. And I hope you guys check that out. Okay, I did my lashes, I did my lips, and I did very, very light brows because I don't know. There's something that I've been trying to figure out. I'm always looking at my makeup. I'm always trying to grow my craft. I'm always trying to better my face application of makeup. And sometimes I watch TV and I think how beautiful some women look. 
And you know what? Their brows be raggedy. Not raggedy. By our standards, they're raggedy. By, you know, just the world standards, they actually look good. They're just not snatched. I'm trying to move away from the snatched brow lightly because I don't think it benefits my face as much as a snatched cheek, even though I have naturally high cheekbones, I prefer that. And I, you know, I like to figure out what I want snatched. I like to do my nose. Sometimes when I have my brows, my eyes, my nose, my cheeks, everything, everything snatched, everything touched, honey. I just come off a little harsh, just a little harsh. So that's what I'm working with right now. I hope you guys like it. You know, I, um, I'm like I said, this is one of my favorite beats right now. You know, this beat got me on the gram acting a fool. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at the Godly Brand. I'm also at the Godly Glow, at the Godly Body, honey, at the Godly Guide. For those of you who are influencers who may consider working with my brand, the Godly Glow, doing reviews and testimonials and tutorials, I have a free mentorship program and I'm working toward getting that all sorted out. I'm waiting to get more inventory, more product, and then I will be doing free mentor services for those of you who like my brand and like me and think that you could learn something from me because you might be able to and you might not. You might, you might teach me something. And I'm always down to learn. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get the heck out of here. As always, I wanna thank you so much for commenting, rating, and <laughs> I had to stop and say, wait a minute, that's my old outro for my other channel. I'm gonna have to come up with a new outro for this channel. But as always, guys, I wanna thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.